Michael Clark Duncan, a Hollywood actor who made a complicated career from handyman to in-demand actor. This big guy combined strength and human kindness. The actor was born on December the 10th, 1957, in Chicago. Michael's family was not complete. His mother raised Michael and his sister alone. The boy was raised without a father and could easily end up in the local gang. But his mother saved Michael from harmful influences. Moreover, despite his large size, the actor was a very calm and kind man. During his university years, his mother fell ill. And Michael had to leave his studies to take care of his mother and his little sister. He began working part-time as a security guard in clubs and bars. He went to the gym for this job. Soon he became even more massive, having 140 kilograms at a height of 196 centimeters. Later, the future actor moved to Los Angeles, where he worked as a bodyguard. He guarded such movie stars like Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. At first, he felt comfortable in his new role. After all, he managed to earn quite a lot of money. Perhaps he would have remained a bodyguard. But there was a turning point. Someone assassinated one of Michael's clients. And then he realized that he didn't want to be a bodyguard anymore. It was too dangerous. Michael started his career as an actor in the TV series. He also played some short roles in movies. But soon Bruce Willis himself called him and offered him a role in the Armageddon movie. Michael made some very good friends on the set, particularly with Willis. Later they played together in the whole nine yards. And it was Bruce who recommended Michael for the role of John Coffey in The Green Mile. He said, if you want to become a successful actor, you need to believe in yourself more than in anything else and not let anybody convince you that you can't do it. It wasn't just a breakthrough, but a real furore. The whole world was talking about Duncan. For his role as John Coffey, Michael was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, but he never won the award. After this role, he got a lot of other offers. He did not play any more such great roles, but he became an absolutely sought-after actor. In 2001, Michael played the role of a huge gorilla in Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes. And a year later, he successfully tried out for the part of a belligerent Balthazar in a spectacular adventure film by Chuck Russell, The Scorpion King. He played 65 roles in films and TV series. Among the latest projects in which Duncan participated was the comedy drama series The Finder and the sports drama The Challenger. Keeping such big physical dimensions affected the actor's health. In 2006, Michael had heart problems and he needed to lose 40 pounds urgently. So, the actor becomes a vegetarian. Partly it helped. He always ate a lot of calories. It was just hard for him to carry so much weight. The actor's girlfriend, TV host Amarosa Manigold Stallworth, never had time to become his wife. The couple was preparing for their wedding, which was scheduled for January 2013. The actor was going to start a family, but had a heart attack, so the plans never materialized. On the night of July 13, 2012, the actor's girlfriend found him at home, lying unconscious. Michael Duncan had a heart attack. His girlfriend helped him stay alive until the ambulance arrived providing indirect heart massage. The actor's life was saved. Michael went to the hospital, but on September the 3rd, he was gone. His friends and colleagues, among whom Tom Hanks was spotted, 
accompanied the actor's lost journey. Duncan's grave is in the Hollywood Hills Cemetery. He was only 54 years old. And that's it for today, guys. Follow our channel and leave your comments below the video. Thanks for your attention. Everyone, good luck.